Paragon over here hitting us with the essentials. That's right, Paragon's launching their brand new collection, the essentials. <laughs> no, this isn't deja vu. I know, we've been reviewing Paragon quite a bit lately, but to be honest with you, I'm impressed with their stuff. First time I tried Paragon, it was their naked original sculpt seam. Loved it. Felt like I was wearing literally nothing, like I was bare naked, as the name implies. Then the second time around, I reviewed their new botanicals collection. That had a lot of fun colors, still had that signature sculpt seam in it, but it was a little more gym friendly. Now today, we're talking about their unreleased collection collection that's going to be launching May 16th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. These pieces have the same Reluna fabric as the original bare naked sculpt scenes that I reviewed, which I really liked, so I'm happy to see this fabric showing up again. I prefer the Reluna fabric over the flex sweat material in the Botanicals collection. I feel like there's less wrinkle in this Reluna fabric, it glues to your body a little bit better, I feel like it's more flattering, and most importantly, I feel like you can really see that sculpt seam under Underneath a little bit better in terms of how it's enhancing the glutes. It worked well in botanicals, but for some reason the Reluna fabric mixed with that discreet sculpt seam, it's a match made in heaven. They got the sculpt seam in everything. I don't think they'll ever do a piece without that because it's good. It's got that inner elastic band down the inside of the seam and it really works wonders for the glutes, but in such a natural way. It's not over the top, it's just right. But rather than all those brights we saw for the botanicals collection, they toned it down a notch. They're a little moody, a little emo if you will. So that's what I think of when I look at these colors, except for the color I'm wearing right now. This purple this is my favorite. Let's check out the colors. We are looking at gray static, green static, purple static, navy static, and you guessed it, black what? A black static. In other words, they're all that space dye design. I'm seeing a ton of brands come out with that design. It looks like you're going through outer space. I think this is a very fun way to describe a very over dramatic moral design. Right here, you can find my measurements. I'll also have them down in the description box below for your reference. Do keep in mind my code GATA does save you 10% off all of your Paragon orders and it does help support this channel big time. Please let me know if you use my code so I can personally thank you. Not only does it help support this channel, but it does does keep our relationship with Paragon nice and healthy, which helps keep these videos coming your way. Another great way to support the channel, guys, is to hit that subscribe button. We have tons of brands just like Paragon that we review every single week. We do a ton of Gymshark, Alpha Leap, Buff Bunny, Lazuli Label, Paragon's a new one we added to the bunch, and best of all, we love taking requests on this channel. Up next, we have a highly requested Define review. You guys have been asking, it's up next, I kid you not. We have a ton of new Gymshark releases coming your way as well, so definitely hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out. I'm happy to say I have every single color here today. I have leggings, shorts, sports bras, and this adorable active dress. Everything you see right now in my hands is my true size small. I did not size up or down for this collection. Let's start with the dress, cause why not? This is called their daily dress, and it's marked at $45. But to my surprise, there was no built-in shorts. At first I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> really? But then I thought about it because I had to go pee and I said, oh, this is nice not having built-in shorts. So I guess that's a pro here. My non-negotiable when it comes to active style dresses is it has to have a built-in bra and that it does. <laughs> You're lucky, Paragon. <laughs> You're lucky. This has a built-in shelf bra with removable bra pads. It also has a racer back design with adjustable straps. This active dress is very comfortable, obviously. It's just like the rest of the Reluna fabric you see here today. It's very soft, super freaking stretchy. The length is wonderful on me. It's 63 inches and it falls at such a nice length. It's not overly short. Sometimes I get active dresses in and I'm like, dude, you can see the lining underneath, just standing. Never mind if I were to bend over to pick up a pencil, <laughs> you know, because we do the bend and snap, do we not? Come on, girl, if you don't, well, you gotta learn the bend and snap. Where are my legally blonde girls at? So it's nice to know when I do the bend and snap, I don't have to worry. This has a gel gripped logo. These straps are very stretchy. Apparently they have a hidden elastic in these straps. So really good for added comfort. Overall, very light to medium support for the shelf bra. Just your classic scoop neckline. I would say very true to size. If you're in between, you could get away with sizing down because there's so much stretch in this dress. Look at this. Oh, maybe not by the straps. What are you trying to do, girl? Okay. Look at that. 
And I actually really like the way the dress lays. There's an ever so slight flare to it right at the bottom. So it doesn't just lay flat, just straight. It hugs the curves nicely with a little bit of let up so there's room to breathe. That's why I suggest sizing down if you're in between. If you really want a skin tight look, then maybe you should size down altogether. I think you can get away with that, especially because we have adjustable straps at the top. So it's up to you, girl. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. <laughs> Let's talk some leggings. Leggings are coming in every single color available. Leggings are rolling in at $54. So I have the blue and the green. I actually got a question via DMs. A gal asked me if this Raluna fabric was similar to Petula's Bear fabric. Now, Petula's Bear fabric, I would say is their most popular fabric. They're so damn simple. I mean, similar. They're virtually the same. These might be ever so slightly thinner than Petula's, but yeah, if you're a fan of the Bear fabric from Petula, then I really think you would love this. So in terms of these leggings, look at this heavy marl first and foremost. How do you how do you feel about space dye print? When I see this heavy of a marl, AKA space dye, on a very simple, straightforward legging, I automatically think relaxed. More athleisure. Now they do say this collection is designed for daily wear and low impact. As is anything with their Reluna fabric, so you will not catch me really bringing these to the gym. But for yes, daily wear, 100%. And these are also great for all day wear because the scrunch itself isn't so aggressive say like the Lazuli scrunch or the Amplify, you know? Alpha Elite's Amplify is no joke. Sometimes you just wanna go out to get your mail or grab some oranges at the grocery store. You don't wanna feel like your peach is on display. Unless that's your thing, by all means do it. There's no judgment here, believe me. I've walked in a grocery store many times in my Amplifies. If I get looks, I just give it back. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So these are great for casual styling. Throw on a hoodie, throw on a long tank, do whatever you want, girl. You can do a lot with these. Now the stretch is great. I love how low the band compression is. It's not cinching in, it's not uncomfortable. You can go to a Chinese buffet and you know, you're not gonna feel any type of way wearing these. So in the front, it's more of a simple curve. In the back, it's a little more sharp, but not quite an exaggerated V seam. A couple pros and cons when it comes to these leggings. Great length on me, I'm five foot three. It is a 25 inch inseam. Now I have actually worn 24 inch inseams before and they be too long on me. It really depends on the material, whether I can move it up, whether I could really pull up these leggings. If it's not a forgiving material, then I have some issues with length. This is a very forgiving material, so I can shimmy around, play with it. It falls at a great length for me. Another pro to these leggings, very cellulite friendly due to the space dye and the darker colors overall. I don't feel the purple cellulite friendly though, so do keep that in mind. I was wearing the purple shorts and I was moving around them and yeah, you could see you could see a little something something. So it's not really cellulite friendly in this lighter purple. The darker colors are great though. Plus, do keep in mind this purple out of all the colors have the lightest space dye out of them all. It is barely noticeable. This is more of just a lighter marl where all of these are really heavy, exaggerated marl designs. We do not have a top seam on the band. Another really great thing is that they're very squat proof. I had no problem with sheerness, not even in the light purple shorts. On that note, if you guys remember from my previous videos, their sculpt seam scrunch is super comfortable. You don't feel it at all. You don't feel the elastic band. There's nothing intruding back there. It's a super comfortable, very discreet, natural scrunch. And the last pro is that it's very sweat concealing. When I did the sweat test on these colors, even the purple was pretty good, all right? Surprisingly enough, but especially in these dark colors, it was very concealing. The only downfall to these leggings is that when you're sweating, it doesn't really absorb off the skin very well. This fabric is so soft, but not necessarily great for like wicking sweat. So this is why I wouldn't recommend working up a sweat or working out in these in general. Not that I was planning to anyway. I'm not interested in sweating in these. It's not that the material of these is totally thick, but it is pretty insulating. Paragon says that these leggings and shorts are anti camel toe and that they are with underwear. So wear your seamless thongs and you're okay. In terms of shorts, I have the purple and the gray. Like this gray looks like a static ETV. I'm afraid to get too close to this. My hair might start standing up. I actually used to love the smell of static. I know that sounds really, really weird. I think that explains a lot as to why I am the way that I am. I think purple is one of those colors where it's hit or miss for me big time. I don't just love purples. There's a lot of purples I don't like. 
This one is acceptable. It's the perfect little vibrancy to it. Not over the top, it's not neon. You know, it's just nice. It's nice for the season. So these are gonna be $44. They are a five inch inseam. Comfortable length for me. Any shorter, we'd have a little bit of a problem here. When I was squatting, I didn't see any roll up. And the thigh cinch was not terrible. And that's coming from somebody who's super sensitive in that area. It was a-okay for me. So yeah, I'd say they did a really great job on the bottoms, for sure. I feel like you could go either way if you're in between. Obviously, stick with your true size. I think they're super true to size. But if you're in between, you can size down if you prefer a little bit more compression. Or you can go the other way, size up if you want some more room to breathe. It's up to you. Last but not least, we're gonna chat about these bras here. Just like the name implies, the essentials are very simple. They're very straightforward. They're playing zero games here, all right? They're just here to get a job done. And that's just to make you freaking comfortable. And did they achieve that goal? In my opinion, yes, they did. These sports bras are very freaking comfortable. You do not have any adjustments. You have removable bra pads. You do have a built-in elastic band under each of these bras to add a little extra support. Overall, I'd give these about a light to moderate support, just like the leggings. The thick straps are what really helps the comfort level here. This is why I would say it's great for all day wear, because there's no thin strap digging, causing marks and creases, and just creasing up your day. I do notice one thing about this bra, and I think you guys can notice it too. When I'm standing straight forward here, it goes out ever so slightly. It's not like it's straight, they go a bit outward over here. Not a huge problem, they don't fall off my shoulders, never once fell off. They don't slip either, they stay intact. But I even feel it when I'm wearing it where it's not straight. <laughs> it's just a little bit, a little relaxed there off the shoulders. You still have the classic scoop neckline. The back is a plunge. So it's a very low backing. Just like the leggings, I would say the sports bras are very true to size. If you're in between is when I would suggest sizing down. You know when they say there's beauty in simplicity? I think this was a great example of that. <laughs> I mean, this was very simple. This is a very simple launch with simple pieces. No crazy colors here, just your basics. So if you're somebody who's in need of adding some essentials to your wardrobe, definitely check out this drop. If you're a fan of the really soft materials, things you can get away with wearing all day long, this will be the collection for you. I really appreciate you guys being here. If you have any questions at all, comment down below and I'll get back to you. Also, let me know what brands you would like to see next. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for videos just like this every single week. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys and I will catch you in my next video.